Now let's see how to create this agency. You, I can see here, right? France recruitment. Mm -hmm. Now let's see how to create an agency. So what we have to do is there is something called as set up agency. Agency access access is there so what i'm going to do here i have an option for add new agency okay this id i'm going to do Okay. Uh, here, this is just a short list. If you want, you can just tag it. Address you need to give. You can give all this detail. Something. This is something. It depends upon the, your contract between the agency and your client. Normally, what happens is. Uh, standard scenario, they'll be having a ownership of 90 days on a, each candidate they refer. Okay. Or is if there is a different uh, contract between the agency and your client as 60 days, you can keep it so that you can, that this will, uh, this details will be given by your client, what exactly it is. So you can just place it and also candidate self ownership duration this also depends upon the contract what exactly they have among your client and the agency okay this is just your adding it and then agreement text if they have a particular agreement you can add it just type anything based on your requirement i'm gonna save it okay I think notes are mandatory, but it's not showing with the And duplication message, I think. I know that says that those are not mandatory. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, anyways, so I'll just show you another. So similarly, you can see it. Once I create it, it will show like this. Once I click on create, it will show like this. Same agency ID, name, address will be there like as we saw in the last time. Candidate ownership, this you can put it as 90 days or 60 days, depending upon your client and your uh, agency agreement. Here, here is where we uh, Add the users for the agency people. Okay. If there is a new person who has joined the agency, then you can just add it. Then you can click on save. Uh, I think there is some issue with this. So if you click on save, then this will trigger a notification for that person. Okay. 
so these are the things like agreement text this is the agreement text posting service objective to these are all just uh, agreement between the client and the agency we just going to post it here so it is okay so once you have it question the yeah. agency are more related to those type of companies who recruit who do recruiting like, but yes yes uh -huh. exactly caliber is a little is a, bit uh -huh. Sorry, caliber, caliber is a company who provides candidates for this best run company who uh, who do the hiring with like, recruitment agency it is if there are a number of positions with an organization if there are 10 job openings these people can hire that for you this is a okay. recruitment agency is a slightly different that when like for example for job posting because when i yeah. job posting is something is just a platform that you're going to post okay mm -hmm. this this is a this is a recruitment firm these people will see your job posting and they going to hire from their platform to your job opening these are all recruitment agencies who have 100 recruiters who are ideally sitting in their company but if you share your openings to them they're going to hire it for you but there will be a different agreement between your client and your agency if it means like if the uh, if one candidate they refer who gets selected in your company then they need to pay a certain amount for them like that they are the agencies who do the hiring recruitment posting is just a posting platform they not uh, if you post it there people can just see your jobs okay agency is something if you post it there they're going to see that there is an opening in your company and they're going to start recruiting from your so recruiting for your opening behalf of you they're going to start searching in their uh, now creating then or uh, monster.com or wherever they want they're going to start searching for the candidates for this position okay question at the same as uh for example mm -hmm. some of them when when we were with post post requisition in the different job uh boards we have to pay in some in some job boards that in this part um the contract needs to be in some of the agency access or or here is just no, like agents, agency is different platform is different see yes. LinkedIn, LinkedIn, LinkedIn is a platform if I want to post a job my job there so I want to have a contract with them okay even if I get a contract what happens is if I post it there in LinkedIn I can just post the job that I have this opening right so difference between the agencies and agencies somebody they're going to hire candidates on behalf of you this is, a, this is a different company which works for you. They will identify the candidates for you for your position. My question was more related to, for example, I know, I know, I know the difference, right? Okay. Uh, one is uh, like just a post site, and this is more mm. like a service. Right, 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 exactly. In this case, um, well, I think I think if you can you scroll down just for a sec. Uh, well, I think the agreement text will be worth as a kind of uh, restrictions here. Now I'm just I, I know I know the difference. I'm just curious about which information or if we can add, for example, one one field that is attachments that um is for example i don't know something that i would like to add or this 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 functionality is we cannot add any no we, any can, we cannot add it we cannot we don't have that option to do anything this that's it. okay it's a standard one okay and we can add as many users yes, as we yes, would yes. like and as many yes. agency as we need yes there is no limit for that you can add any number of users 
and also you can add any number of agencies. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, next final topic, what I wanted to discuss is uh, employer referral. Okay, so employee referral is something as an employee, you can refer an outsider candidate for a position, right? If you want it, if you want, it can be set up in the internal job portal. So there are two things. Uh, in most of the cases, it will be, uh, you have to select either two of them. Okay, this depends upon the what is your client requirements, like what is their uh, preference, whether to have ownership on the requisition or ownership for the duration. Okay, if you're having ownership for the requisition, then uh, that will be considered only for that requisition. Okay, if you have a ownership for the duration, then on 90 days, no matter which uh, position you refer him, that is valid. Okay. And this is like whether you want to, this, you can, whether it's like if you want, you can set for the initial submission date or the most recent submission date. This is like self explanatory, whichever they want, they can prefer to have it. This depends upon the client's discrete. Only difference is, yeah. No, can, can you give me an example? Because I think I'm, I'm a little okay. close. Like how uh, one works and how the there, other. There are two things, okay? Ownership on requisition for duration, okay? Ownership on requisition means for, uh, just think that I'm working in Western company and I am referring you for a job A. I'm working in a Western company and I'm referring area for job. Okay. If I'm selected one, then this is valid only for job B. If you're applying for a job B, if you're applying for job A and also for job B, and if you get selected in job B, then it is not valid. Okay. Your, refer your reference will be only valid for job A because I have referred you for job A, but you have applied for job A and job B and you got selected for job B. Okay. Then it's not going to be a valid. If I give ownership based on the duration for 90 days, once I refer you for any job, consider I have referred you for job A, I have referred Maria for job A. Okay. What happens is, and you're going to get selected for job C. Then that is also valid because it counts based on number of 90 days. Within 90 days, if you get selected to any job, it will be valid. I understood now. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Okay. And. This is just a, a verb edge with thank you. I know it will be visible. Thank you for interest for referring your friend. If I'm referring you, I can see this verb edge. Okay. Next thing is we have some settings. If you want to hide resume for employee reference, I can hide it. Like if I make mandatory for resume, I can make it mandatory. I can, if I want disable, disable this then add refer buttons on it. Those things are not going to use it, but depends upon your client requirement. Okay. Question. If I am in a referral program mm -hmm. for what I how the disable the add a referral button works because uh that is the reason uh you need to enable this. Most of the time we're not gonna if, use it, okay. disable part. Okay. Yeah, because if yeah. you're if you if I remove the add referral button, then what's the point of uh, having it? Yes. 
okay well well weird. <laughs> um and question uh, how how i can do it like this is from the career yeah. from site? career yes if i go to careers this is the internal job portal this is available only for the person who is working in this company right here if i click on job search i can see certain jobs here if i search it refer reference uh, refer friend to a job here it is if I click on that i need to provide your name question and maybe a silly question this is only for for a internal candidates like uh, yes, this is only for internal candidates you can refer only if you are a employee of that company because i have uh, access to this only if i am a com uh, employee of this company right if i am uh, working in this company then only i can refer candidates for this company okay it so is just, not for external users no, no 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 not for external users this is only for internal this is meant for internal work. this functionality is meant for internal okay i'm going to save your resume and then i'm going to add it to so, so this is about the employer referral program so we are clear today today we discussed on uh, position management business rules agency 